Thank you so much for joining me for tonight's Reiki ASMR session. Uh, today's session is going to be for um, releasing um, any sort of stuck energies that you might need to release or cut to ties with. Um, and I want to leave you with a veil of protection. Um, so tonight's session is going to be a lot of clearing. Um, we might do some walking and things like that. But uh, my intention is to leave you very protected um, going forward and just to give you a few tips on how to protect yourself um, on a day-to-day, -day, you know, way of protecting yourself on a day-to-day -day basis from other people. Um, and sometimes we, as empaths, if you, you resonate with being maybe a sensitive to other people's energy or an empathic person, um, you're easily picking up um, people's energies that are not intended for you um, and they can really drain you and really make you tired and it can also make you feel very much like you want to be very reclusive from people and stay away from um, public settings and things like that which um, is okay and that's a way of that we self-protect but um, I just want to send you um, a, a few different ways of protecting yourself so that you might feel like you don't need to <laughs> hide at home all the time. So um, anyways, just to get started, let's light our candle for our intention. And to start off with, I have these incense matches. And these are French vanilla scented. So. We're going to use the incense as well, like we're going to do some clearing before we get into the big stuff. Right. If you just want to use this as a relaxation tool, that's okay as well, no problem at all. beeswax tea light in my candle holder. Let's see if I can get this to light. No, it wouldn't. But I'm still going to use this just the incense around you and then I'll use a lighter. incense matches from a place called Mandela Bookstores Bookshop. Mandela Bookshop, I think it was called. It's downtown London, Ontario. We're from the area. They got lots of awesome esoteric books, but lots of other tools as well. Sometimes when you have a new wick, it takes a lot more fire. There we are. All right. So if you want to just set your intention, if you'd like to use this as a, um, a tool for something else, you're more than welcome to do that as well. But my intention for the collective is to use this Reiki session for you to feel more protected going forward. Whatever is coming your way is bounced off easily, it goes back to who it belongs to, it's not yours, it's not your energy to carry, it has no business being in your energy field longer than you need it to be, and as healers, and if you're watching this sometimes, if you're drawn to Reiki, you yourself are a healer, and 
you know, when we're doing this work, it's good to pick up on other people's energy so that you can use it in your healing modalities. But we also need to learn to let the energy do its job so that it's not depleting you of your own energy, right? And um, just being able to trust that Reiki energies come through us or whatever you pull from is doing what it needs to and that you don't need to give of yourself and your personal energy to heal someone else. Okay, because I know sometimes we get caught up in that cycle of just wanting to help, right? It's all for the greater good, but it's not always good for yourself, right? So, just going to intend for ourselves to keep ourselves centered and our energies lifted, protected, strong backbones, knowing when to say no, and letting go what we don't need, and letting things slide off of us, bounce back off of us, or sometimes we need to radiate it back, energetically of course, to where it belongs, where it doesn't belong to us, right? Santo that I wanted to use tonight. It's a new piece. And it just got a little bit wet. It's just not working as well. So I thought I would use a new piece tonight. And I really want to do um, intentional clearing. So if you've never, if you're not familiar with Palo Santo, um, this is my personal favorite way of clearing the energy off of myself. Especially during um, times of stress, like if you're someone that picks up, um, maybe you're from energies, uh, when I like, get together from people from your past that you hold on to different, maybe you have hurt feelings, family can bring out past issues, the best of us, that, you know, can be affected. and. Uh, I find Palisanto the most effective. So just letting the smoke cleanse. Just to cleanse your energetic body. And I'm actually, I should have mentioned this earlier. Um, what I'm intending tonight actually is that what's in front of me is your back body. Normally I intend it to be the front of you and then I will kind of reach back and you work on your back. But tonight I want to you use this, what's in front of me here. This is your back body and when I reach around that will be your front body. And the reason for that is that your back can be a place that we hold on to cords that we are not aware of. And, you know, people talking behind your back, for instance. Right. Um, we hang on to energies through our back and we a lot of times we can forget even when we're doing clearing sessions to really get in there so we're really going to work at clearing the back and then I'm gonna reach through to the front and pull out towards the back okay and I really wanted to get in here at the brainstem especially area down to our lower back where we can really hold on to emotions 
which we can manifest into our enemies, all right? So I am going to do some um, pulling tonight and clearing. All right, so I'm just going to set down this piece of palisanto. going to do this. I'm going to spray my hands with this clearing spray. Spray you as well. Spray myself. Alright. So that the intention of letting go release what's not needed for you, all right? No, wait, someone might just give you a look. They might be thinking those thoughts, they can tie, they can cut, they can hold on to you even when you're not there, right? And that's why we sometimes we'll get those ringings in the ears and we know someone's talking about us. ourselves, you know, like people that are coming towards us, they might want your sympathy. And everyone does this at certain times, right? Um, can drain us of our own energies. Their energies stick onto us. And they don't mean it. Not always. Not everybody is a narcissist. Okay, I know that's a really popular topic right now and it's being used heavily. Sometimes it's just someone that's going through something in their life right now, right? <laughs> they don't intend to be that way. And sometimes it's, it is someone that's, you know, never grown up to release that negative mindset and they're, they do drain you every time you talk to them. Or release any judgments that come our way. Any jealousies, even unintended. Frenemies. <laughs> and just let that, let that go, let that off of you. You know those friends that are nice to your face and they talk so nice when you're not there. If they are talking about their other friends to you in not a nice way, that is probably the way they're talking about you when you're not there as well. Okay, so letting go of childhood friends sometimes is very difficult and I know I've been through that myself and when you're elevating and you really care about people, it can be really hard to let those people go or to stop a conversation to see the other side, you know? Cutting conversation short, you know, finding a way out of a conversation before it drains you. You know, with love, right? People's are not always intending it to hurt you. But there is this energetic cord. It can even be from the people that love us most, right? Like our parents. Just working down now that back in this area, 
just want to grab anything that's heavy on our heart and want to leave you feeling lighter and all of those thoughts those overgrown thoughts building up in our shoulders let's clear it out going down our nervous system down our lower back and I want to intend this for you to feel lighter <laughs> just get rid of all that you know energetic junk that is not yours you don't need to carry that you know <laughs> so I wanted to also touch on how to protect yourself right every day doing some breath work Do breath work. Um, there's Kundalini breath work that's very powerful, where you're breathing um, short breaths in and sharp breaths out from the stomach area. Something along those lines, and um, you can always look that up on YouTube as well. Kundalini breath work. And you can even hold your hands up. Your hands can be like this with your thumbs pointing up and imagining a nine foot veil of protection around you, holding your breath up and doing the Kundalini breath. And doing that for a couple of minutes in the morning before getting up to give yourself that protection. Even just visualizing Visualizing the veil, the clear veil, the bubble that you cannot enter and never feel like you cannot express to people. You can always, always say that that's far enough. You know, the people coming up to you too close into your space, put up those boundaries. to work with a couple of crystals tonight um, and there's some particular ones that work really well for uh, protection so now that we're pulled out some dense energy some dense gray dead energy uh, what I'm gonna do first is actually do a little cord cutting selenite and I've got a new piece of selenite and I'll show you what that one looks like too. This is a bigger piece. And then what I thought I would do is use these two piece pieces together but first let me just comb the big piece down to do a cleanse and let me go through the front body as well. I'm just going to use these two pieces of selenite together and the intention is to cut any dense cords that might be attached to your back And you can imagine any cords that you feel attached to a person, okay, a situation, an outcome that didn't go your way, whatever you need, that 
in your personal experience. Severing those cords. That don't need. Of course, we want to leave the cords that we that benefit us. Right? But we just want to get rid of the dense. of your head as well. Down to the heart, sore, sacral, and root. Okay. Just a gentle cord cutting. Alright. And again, just at the back where we hold our past where we hold all our past experiences. a general clearing here. Selenite is a great crystal to keep and you can do a daily crystal selenite cleanse just by going a few inches above your body where your etheric body is and combing is a great way to cleanse every day along with smudging also, Epsom, uh, taking like a bath with Epsom salts is also very beneficial for cleansing. Right, and selenate is potentially, it's basically a salt, so salt is just in general very, very cleansing. <laughs> Alright, so the next crystals I wanted to work with were um, these pieces of pyrite. Pyrite is excellent. Look how beautiful this piece is. It's sparkly. Um, it's a perfect stone for protection. It's also great for calling in abundance, the color of gold. But it, this stone in particular is great for reflecting back energies. Okay, so that's why it's really actually great if you could find it in, in a necklace form. Um, but can get things like this in bracelets and all sorts of things, but it, anything mirrored is energetically bouncing back um, any sort of negative thoughts back to the person that it's coming from. Okay, so if you've got neighbors, you know, that gave you the stink eye or are annoyed at you, um, you could put an actual mirror in your window or just anything reflective. So pyrite is the crystal that kind of correlates with that. So that's a great trick to use at work too. Like if you have like um, if you work at a desk and you've got coworkers that maybe whisper behind your back or who knows what, but keep some mirrored pieces or reflective pieces around your desk. Just send that back right back to them. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to use these together. Just to kind of loosen anything else up. This is gentle loosening.
to um, also mention these very important crystals. Um, this is actually the same, it's just in two different forms. So this is black tourmaline. Black tourmaline comes a lot of times like this. And so this is tumbled and this is just like a raw piece. And my little kitten has lost my bigger piece of this <laughs> because it's actually a really great to keep in your windowsill. So she's found my pieces of tourmaline that I keep in the windowsill. <laughs> and um, this is what I could find today. So um, I wanted to use these because this is fantastic for protection of all kinds. Energetic smog, including EMF waves, all kinds of any sort of negativity. Um, so black tourmaline is fantastic to wear as a protection stone for empathic people's necklace, bracelets, keep one in your bra, your pocket, whatever you'd like around your home. It's just an amazing one to diminish any sort of negativity. And so I just wanted to bring this in and also mention it too. <laughs> Sorry they're so small. <laughs> that little kitten, she is so cute and playful. So I'll forgive her for that one. <laughs> One more crystal. So this one is um, pink tourmaline. So that was black tourmaline. This is pink. Pink tourmaline really is also great for um, any clearing any negativity, just like black is, but the pink is really resonating with the heart. So I wanted to bring in this last because now that we've cleared, we're going to work yet, you know, now we're sealing things, sealing things. Um, so I want to work with the heart and this is mixed with the Pedialyte, which I think is just perfect because the Pedialyte as well is great for the calming energy. anxiety, depression, just any sad thoughts. But, um, and I wanted to bring it in more for the pink tourmaline that you can kind of see through at it as well. Great. So now we just want to intend to seal around you with lots of love and positive, loving, energies quartz and I'm just going to use both of them together. Trickling down your head, your back, in front of you, in front of your face, behind your head, down your neck, just trickling down, 
and through your nervous system. Feeling your shoulders. Take a deep breath. Down your shoulders, down your back, down the front of your heart, lungs, your stomach, adrenals, gallbladder, pancreas, protection of your solar, your sacral, sacral and your belly button, your liver. Your digestive system, colon, down your hips, down your legs, down your thighs, your knees, your calves, down to your ankles, your feet, your toes, down your arms, elbows, wrists, hands, fingertips. I'm going to go down and hold at your hands. You might feel a tingling sensation. Feeling supported in a non intrusive way. Just what is right for you and what you can handle. Okay. going to also support your feet. Right. Up. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for all your very lovely comments. Um, it really helps support this channel and thank you for subscribing and if this resonates with you please do give a uh, sub uh, subscribe it really does help support the channel and its growth and I'm working on getting better equipment and um, things like that so and if you are ever interested uh, I do services in London Ontario or distance Reiki online so you can have like a personal video recording for yourself um, as well and um, you can always reach me through my email that's linked in my description box okay right, so take care and um, thanks so much for watching and I will see you soon for the quiet Reiki version All right.